Artie, thank you for the call. Our next guest is Herald Sun opinion columnist Rita Panahi. Rita, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tom. Now, early on in the program, I looked at this Orlando shooting and I said there's probably three things. I mean, there's the gunman himself who may or may not have been influenced by the Islamic State. It's also turned may up or that may not. He pledged his allegiance it, okay. before he launched the attack. I mean, I don't understand why there's this confusion about. Well, well because he, he told us why he did it. It seems like he also was on gay dating websites as well, which does well, seem hardly odd. unusual for a for a man who uh, is deeply homophobic to have some All right, homosexual so, tendencies. <laughs> and then, of course, there's laxious gun laws, which make it very easy to get a weapon mm-hmm. like the one that he used. How do you see it? And you are, of course, a former Muslim. Do you think that Islam, the religion, bears some of the blame? It bears a great deal of the blame. The the Muslim homophobia, it is vile, it is strong, and it is prevalent. And it's not just in places like Raqqa or Syria or Iraq. It is around the world. And we've got to call it out, just like we would call out any other bigotry. And there's this tendency by the regressive left, which I'm hoping you're not a member of. The the regressive left. The regressive left, who would normally rail against any sort of bigotry, particularly bigotry against uh, the homosexual community. But they refuse to call it out if it comes from the Islamic Well, well, for example, there's there's a British-born Muslim cleric in Sydney right now, Mm. Earl Wood, at the... Imam Hussain Islamic Centre, and he has said a number of times, his name is Farrokh Sekaleshfar, he has said a number of times that the only way to deal with homosexuality is, is execution, is well, death. Well, that's what they do in several Islamic countries, including the one that um, I lived in for a period, Iran. In Iran. They hang them. Mm. It, that, that is the crime of homosexuality, it's considered a crime, is punishable by death. Now, that is not by some Islamic state crazies throwing gay men off buildings. This is done by the government. This is law. Um, And we've got to acknowledge that this is a disgusting set of beliefs and we need to challenge it. We need to call it out. We can't shy away from it because of cultural sensitivities. And it's not just in the Middle East. If you look at some of the polling that's been done recently in Great Britain, 50% of Muslims there said that they thought homosexuality should be illegal. That's 50% in Britain. Mm. Again, that's not the Middle East. That's no. not, you know, a, a culture completely removed okay, from so, us. Okay, so, because it seems to me, I, I, I agree with you, by the way. I mean, we, we have this, we turn this blind eye to, you know, because it's a religion, we feel, oh, well, we can't say a bad thing about another well, no, religion. No, you really can't. And you know what? If this was a, a Catholic man who went in there citing uh, verses from the Bible shooting up everybody, there would be no hesitation from the left to absolutely condemn him condemn him and uh, call this okay, well, he ha- Has anybody from, as you put it, the regressive left come out in the last 24 hours and tried to, I don't know, defend these actions or, or well, defend... Not, or, I mean, they're not, not, not defending, the, actions, but, defending but the man, defend but they... Defend the Islamic beliefs that say... They, that, they question whether it's an act of terror. They question mm. whether it's motivated by his uh, radical Islamist beliefs. They question whether... Uh, you know, it has anything, if there's any relationship that exists between uh, being a Muslim and homophobia. And then they compare it. They say, well, that homophobia exists within the Catholic Church. Of course it does. Uh, many religions have those sort of beliefs, but only one throws them off buildings. Mm. Only one hangs them. I mean, um, have I missed something? Are there Christians slaughtering gay men and filming it and putting it on YouTube? I mean, it, it, this moral, uh, cultural relativism, it's not helpful saying, you know, other people are also bigots, but only one set of people are consistent, consistently murdering in the name of their religion. I mean, That's I'm, I'm, their difference. Mm, I must say, it seems to me that a lot of these clerics, like they, they give in English, they come across as relatively reasonable, but then suddenly when their speeches are interpreted from Arabic or another language, what they're saying is, is terrible. Like this, well, this guy is, from Britain who, yeah. who's saying that all you know, homosexuals should be executed, he actually says it, it, it's, a, it's a compassionate thing to do because it's only by executing them that we can stop them carrying out their homosexual acts and therefore denying themselves a place in heaven. Mad. Absolutely mad. And, and instead of um, looking at this evidence, what do we do instead? We look at what the gunman's own father was saying, as mm. if he's going to come out and say, yes, my son is a terrorist. Oh, no, this had nothing to do with, with Islam. And that gets reported uncritically by the media. Now, let's take a moment and consider that the gunman's own father is also a fairly questionable character. He's, a, he's on camera supporting the Taliban. Mm. This is a 
Yeah, he's Islamist from, group. Way, from Afghanistan. That's where he's That's from. right. An Islamist group that murders gay men, that uh, tortures people. It is We, we know about the Taliban's uh, level of evil. So why are we, again, reporting this man's claims about his own son and accepting them as fact instead of looking at the evidence? This guy called the police and pledged his allegiance to Islamic State before he carried out this slaughter. We know why he did it. He told us. All right, 96900 693 13, 13 32. If you'd like to speak with Rita Panahi, get on the blower right now at 17 to 5.